Welcome back to Blender Daily. In today's tutorial I want to show you how you can extract the motion of a person in a video and apply it to any 3D character. This is made possible by an amazing AI tool that is completely free and very easy to use. Let me show you. First of all let's take a look at the video that we are going to use. This is a shot of a girl dancing that I downloaded for free from pexels.com. Of course you can also record your own footage, just make sure that you stay within the frame all the time and that you place the camera on a tripod to keep it as still as possible. In this example the footage was shot handheld so I stabilized it in post with After Effects. You can download this stabilized clip with the link in the video description if you want to follow along step by step with me in this tutorial. Next let's go to plask.ai to start the motion capture process. Click on launch plask in the top right corner to open up the 3D workspace. On the right side we have the library with all the characters and animations in our scene. In the middle is the 3D viewport and just below it you can find the animation timeline. And on the right hand side you can find the property window where we'll be able to adjust a few things later on. To import the footage simply take the clip and drag and drop it into the library panel. You can now preview the clip and we have the option to trim it in order to cut away any unnecessary parts. Before extracting the motion we have to define whether we want to extract just a single character from the video or if there are multiple persons in there. In this case we can leave it as it is as we only have one dancer. You could also turn on T-Pose if you stood in a T-Pose in the beginning of the recording. This might give you better results but it usually also works great without the T-Pose. Once everything is set up click on extract, give it a name and wait for it to process the footage. Once done the new animation should appear in the library. There we also have a few default characters that we can use to preview the motion capture. To apply the animation to a character simply select it and drag and drop it on top of it. This should load the character together with the animation into the 3D viewport. To preview the animation now simply click on the play button in the timeline. As you can see the motion capture worked really well and looks great on our character. We can take a closer look at it later on in Blender but first let me show you how we can import custom characters into Plask. A great place to get compatible characters is Mixamo.com which is also completely free. Here you have a great selection of various characters. Select the character that you like and click on the download button in the top right corner. Here you can generally leave all the download settings on the default and simply proceed. If you want to use a completely custom character that might not even have a rig, you can check out my auto rigging tutorial where I demonstrate how you can upload and rig your own characters to Mixamo. The link is in the video description. Back in Plask click on the plus button in the library to import the new character. Once it is imported you can see that it comes with a default Mixamo animation. We don't need it so let's right click on it to delete it. Instead take our custom mocap animation and drag and drop it onto the Mixamo character. Let's play the timeline again to preview the animation on the new character. If everything is working properly we are ready to download the result. To do so right click on the character and choose export. Make sure that under motion the correct animation is selected, leave the format on FBX and start the download. Next let's jump into Blender. To bring the character in go up to file, import and choose the FBX format. Locate the file and in the import settings make sure to turn on automatic bone orientation. This should import the character together with the rig. Let's press play in the timeline to preview the animation. In order to see the texture of the character we need to switch to viewport shading in the top right corner. If the shader is messed up select the mesh, go to the material properties and under settings disable show backface. This should fix the issue. If we take a close look at the animation you can see that most of it worked astonishingly well, especially if we compare it to the original footage. The only real issue I can see are the feet that don't always align correctly with the floor plane. This could be fixed by enabling foot locking in Plask. However, this feature is only available in the paid version. 
Other than that, the free version is extremely good and probably covers everything you need. That's it for this tutorial, thank you very much for watching. I hope you could learn something new and if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.